Note to self, get other big projects finished before starting on other big ones. But, oh well, here we are today with the start of the first review of Manga March, where I will be talking about a one-shot by Yusuke Murata and Wong, who you might recognize from their work on a little-known manga called One Punch Man. Now, it is hard to talk about anything that Wong has done without bringing up the two anime that have adapted his works, One Punch Man and Mob Psycho, both of which showcase the unique writing style that Wong has, where he's able to play off common storytelling elements to do something really unique, and this manga is no different. In this case, it tells the story of a magical girl who must keep the fact that she is a magical girl secret as she fights to stop evil and save the world or whatever it is that magical girls do. Except she's not as good at keeping secrets as she would think considering all the guys in her class know about it and have formed a secret fan club where they secretly cheer her on while keeping the fact that they know her secret a secret until a mysterious transfer student transfers in because that's what transfer students do. Like all of Wong's stories, the thing that stands out to me is how he continues to defy the expectations, such as the magical girl wanting to be known for what she's doing and to get praise for all the work she's doing as opposed to the traditional one who just want to save people because they're good and kind people. As well like how the manga was sort of poking fun at the fan club for doing nothing, but also how the fan club ended up having a role to play in the battle. The story showed how some of the perhaps non-noble characteristics of the characters ended up driving them to become heroes, and that's an interesting twist on the whole becoming a hero thing. I did find kind of weird how the story was so short being a one shot, but still had enough going on to tell a compelling story. Most of the time when I watch an anime, the stories are at least 5 hours in runtime, but this is something that I read in probably about 15 minutes, which makes it feel different. It did not feel like it was all that short either. There was like a story I was invested in, several different things happening, different twists, so it did feel different than what I'm used to. I'm also glad I did not feel like we were just getting a small piece of a larger story, because while we could see more, and I wouldn't mind seeing more in the future, it did wrap up what it was trying to do, so that was good, because I do not like things that are incomplete, which, well, seems like a lot of anime are that way. I can't really think of any complaints I have about the manga. I guess I could say it's not something that really grabbed me, but that seems like a sort of shallow criticism. It is short, enjoyable, and a bit different, so I recommend it. And that concludes my first review of the month, and sorry about it being so short. But it's a short manga, so what do you expect? Also, vote for what else I should review if you haven't done so already. The link to the poll should be down in the description, but in case I forget again, uh, it's in the comments section of my last video, or just tell me to put it there, and I will do so. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.